Serenity Selman and Dartrell Byers were together in Glen Arden Friday night when two other teens showed up in a stolen Kia Sorento. It was around 7 o'clock. According to family members, both got into the Kia with the other teens, not knowing the car had been stolen in a carjacking earlier that day in Greenbelt. Absolutely not. Serenity was picked up from here. Her house, her stepdad released her. And had he known that car was stolen, she again would not have entered that car and probably still, well not probably, but would have been here today. Latasha Hamilton says losing Serenity in Dartrell has left the family grieving and struggling to accept what's happened. Honestly, words cannot describe what it has done to us. We are totally crushed. We don't know, we're at a loss for words completely. I mean, you know, they were innocent babies. They were babies. No one was grown that was in that car. No one. This is where the vehicle was carjacked just before one o'clock in the morning Friday here on Edmonston Court in Greenbelt. The victim says five suspects approached and demanded the keys to his car. One of them had a long gun. The victim says he threw the keys and ran. East Georgia County Police say they spotted the black Kia Sorento at Lotsford Road and Palmetto Drive at around 7.30 Friday night. It had expired temporary tags. An officer began a pursuit, but police say when the officer lost sight of the car, the officer disengaged. A witness told police the car passed them on the shoulder about four minutes later before crashing into a tree on Woodmore Road. I mean, we're just ready for the correct facts. We want answers. We want to know exactly what happened to her. Prince George's County Police have not identified any of the teens at this point. It's unclear who may have been driving. In Glen Arden, Paul Wagner, News 4.